Hey guys, it's George. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be talking you through my super easy and affordable fake tan routine. Okay, so quickly, before we get started on talking about my tan routine, I'm just going to insert before and after of like my body before the tan and then my body after the tan just to show you like the colour difference. Um, I am going to say that before I did fake tan, I had a very slight tan, like natural tan from outside um it's been quite sunny in the uk so i had like a tiny tan um but obviously it's now going to be rainy for the rest of the week so i thought i'd fake tan and show you guys my routine um but yeah so there is quite a big difference um especially when you first wake up in the morning you're very dark but then once you shower it off like a lot comes off when you shower it but it still leaves you with like a really nice glow um so the routine <laughs> Um, so for my fake tan routine, the first step is always to exfoliate your entire body. So just get in the shower, get some exfoliating gloves and some shower gel and just scrub your body. Um, this is really good, especially removing old bits of tan that you might have and might not have taken off. Or it's just good at like preparing your skin and making like an even layer so you have no dry patches. And it's all just sort of smooths on really easily. So that is definitely my first tip. Just make sure you do exfoliate your body. Um, and then once you get out of the shower, dry yourself and add some moisturiser. So I put moisturiser on my legs, arms and chest mainly. Because um, I get a bit of dry skin like around here sometimes. Um, don't know why. And then also on your elbows and your knees and ankles like that is all where fake tan tends to stick a lot. So just make sure those places are super moisturised so they don't like cling to the fake tan and then you don't have like... I don't know, like orange elbows or something. Um, but yeah, so that is the next tip. And then once you're sort of exfoliated, moisturized and all stuff like that, then you can start applying the tan. So the fake tan I use is the Coco Brown Dark Shade One Hour Tan Mousse. Um, and basically I found that I was spending like a lot of money on fake tan, like some bottles are like 20 quid. And if you fake tan every week, it just works out that you're spending a lot of money on fake tan and it just gets really expensive. So I was looking for a cheaper alternative. So this one is like six or seven pounds, I want to say, for the bottle. And it lasts me quite a few weeks. Like if I'm doing it every week, I'd say I'd probably I'd buy a new one every six weeks, maybe. Um, so it's like a pound a use, maybe. Yeah, um, so it is really good value and the product is actually really good. So once I've done like all my preparation stuff, I just grab my mitt and for my mitt, I have a Bondi Sands one. Um, I feel it's just better to spend a little bit more money on your mitt just because if you get those cheap ones and the fake tan goes through to your hands, it's all it doesn't like blend as well, it all sticks to the mitt and it's just not great. So I definitely recommend like investing in a bit of a better mitt. Uh, but I've had that on for years and it still does the job. So yeah, just what I do is I just put some tan on the mitt, rub it into my body, let it dry for like 10 minutes and then do another layer. So I do two layers with the Coco Brown tan, just because I find that when you get in the shower, a lot of it does wash away. So it gives you more of a tan. If you do two layers, then like, I don't know, you just look a bit darker than if you just do one, but obviously it's all personal preference as to how many layers you want to do. Um, but you can see in the before and after like that is quite a change um, and when I have no tan at all like if I hadn't been sunbathing this week my tan difference would be so much greater because I am naturally quite pale um, but yeah so I do really like this tan it is cheap which is good because I find it like super affordable and it dries really quickly as well so once you've applied it like it doesn't take long to dry and then you can like just get into bed and sleep in it um, which is so handy because I hate when you like apply tan and then you have to stand around for ages just waiting to dry. It's just really annoying because you're just standing there like, well, I've got to wait for my tan to dry now. You know, is it just me? I don't know. So that is basically everything about the tan and it is an hour tan. So I think if you wanted to wear it like that night, you could apply it and then like an hour later it's developed. So the color comes through quite quickly. Um, so you don't have to do it overnight, but I just prefer to do it just because, I don't know, I'm always worried like the tan will stick to the clothes and stuff like that. but. Yeah, I guess you could use it as an instant tan as well or an overnight one, whatever your personal preference is. Um, and then in order to, prolo to prolong my tan, I use the Garnier Body Summer Body Moisturiser. Um, so after a while, I guess all fake tans will start to fade, but I feel by using this moisturiser, it really does make my tan last longer um, and it makes your skin soft and it stops it from like cracking and going like tiger bready. 
um because no one wants to look like target bread it's just not a good look um but this moisturizer really does help to prolong it i reckon like it goes like maybe 10 days before i need to start taking it all off um i mean it always fades like quicker in some places like my hands fade the fastest just because obviously washing them and stuff like that um but yeah this moisturizer really does help to prolong it especially on your legs it really just makes it more even when it's fading um and the stand doesn't really crack that much which is good like it doesn't go tiger bready quickly which is good it like lasts a long time and then when it fades it sort of fades all together so i do really like this tan for like maintenance like it is easy um and then like when it starts to fade i just get my exfoliating gloves like exfoliate it all off and then just basically start the process again um but i've been doing this for i want to say like five six months now that i've been just using this tan and i really like it and it's so easy and it's affordable and it dries quickly and it's just a really like i feel like i've really nailed my tanning routine at the moment and i feel really happy with like how it turns out and like the color difference and all stuff like that so i am really yeah just enjoying my fake tanning process at the moment um yeah, so I think that is literally all I have to say to you guys about my fake tan routine. It is super affordable, it's easy, it's quick, like the tan dries quickly and all stuff like that. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. Thank you for watching, I'll see you next time.